primary thing is paradigm shifts. You you try to find out how is their thinking, what kind of person they are, how have they dealt with the current challenges they face, and what is stopping them from growing further. And most of the time, the things that I found is their strength is also their weakness. What built them to a certain level is also the same thing that is stopping them from growing further from that level. I mean, the beautiful saying, you know, uh, where they say, if you're doing the same thing as you've always been doing, you cannot expect a different result. You have to try something new. I mean, it's like bodybuilding, you know, uh, if you've ever hit the gym before. If you carry the same 10, 10 kg weight with the same style, yeah, the first two weeks you will feel sore. And after that, there is nothing happening. There's no improvement at all. You need to shock that muscle. Similarly, our brains, our characters, our behaviors work the same way. You need to shock it once in a while. So, and me being me, I love to, I love adventures. Uh, I mean, one of the funniest things is on my birthdays, uh, I love to do something that will uh, make me fear. Like I'll go bungee jumping or I'll go, you know, uh, paragliding just to have that sense of appreciation for the life that you have. You shock the system. You know what I mean? So same thing. Uh, coming back to business, it's pretty much the same mantra that I follow. You shock the system. You try out new things. Don't be afraid to fail. But there are calculated risks. How much can you um, take risks? How much you want to, uh, you know, try out certain things? So it's 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 a it's a calculation. How much of your comfort zone are you going to come? Because any changes will always come with this uh, sinusoidal wave, where you'll always have a dip before a rise. It's always going to happen. So. Do you have what it takes mentally, physically, monetarily to sustain that dip? That's pretty much the question.